Well, this is your devotional for July 7th, and we're digging into Proverbs chapter 25. And my prayer, as we've been doing the last couple of weeks, is that by looking at three simple truths, three bits of wisdom, one of these will strike your heart and it will change you. It'll be transforming in the way you live your life. And so here's the first of the three lessons I want to look at today. And, and this, I love verses four and five of this chapter because they're, they're so powerful. And I call this, know your fools. Know your fools. In other words, there's different kinds of fools, and you need to know what kind of fool you're dealing with. Here's what the passage says in verse 4. Do not answer a fool according to his folly, or you yourself will be just like him. But here's what the next verse says. Answer a fool according to his folly, or he will be wise in his own eyes. Well, which is it? Don't answer a fool according to their folly? or answer a fool according to their folly? Here's the answer. It depends on what kind of fool you're dealing with. There's all kinds of fools. Sometimes people are doing things foolish and it just should be ignored. Sometimes it should be addressed. How do you know? You know your fools. If someone's acting in a foolish manner, say, Lord, is this a situation where I'm silent? Or is this a situation where I speak and let the Lord lead you? Lesson number two, we find this in verse 11. And I call this lesson, break the cycle. Break the cycle. Here's what the passage says. As a dog returns to its vomit, so fools repeat their folly. As a dog returns to his vomit, so fools repeat their folly. I think this might be two weeks in a row with vomit in our, in our devotionals, which is kind of, I think it's a record for us. Won't it be exciting to see if next week we're talking about vomit? We'll see what happens in the book of Proverbs. But it's a powerful image, isn't it? The point is this. A dog that throws up will often poke its nose around in that. It, it, be, beware that you're not repeating the same folly again and again and again. A wise person looks at the choices they make that are bad choices, recognizes they were bad choices, makes decisions not to go back into that, and cuts off the rhythm, that habit. I encourage you to look at your life and say, is there a repeating habit in my life? The old time Christians used to call it besetting sins. That sin that kind of keeps coming back again and again and again. If that's happening, how do you identify it? Get some accountability, people praying for you, and change your life and walk away from that habit. And then in verses 14 to 16, our third lesson, beware of laziness. Beware of laziness. And again, Proverbs addresses this topic often, so we've touched on it a few times, but there's something about working hard, being focused, and not letting ourselves become lazy. And that's a, that's a recurring thing we have to keep an eye on. So listen to verses 14 through 16. As a door turns on its hinges... So a sluggard turns on his bed. A sluggard buries his hand in the dish, but he's too lazy to bring it back to his mouth. I mean, that's quite a picture. <sighs> I can't do it. I, you know, what a picture, right? A sluggard is wiser in his own eyes than seven people who answer discreetly. Lazy people think they're wise when they're really not. Beware of laziness. Where are you tempted to kind of phone it in, to do a half job. I know somebody who went to, into a business recently to buy something and the person was really helpful before they bought it. And after they bought it, that person shifted and wasn't helpful at all. They became lazy very, very quickly after they made it. It was a situation where there was a commission on the sale, but after the sale was made, they proved themselves kind of lazy. This person actually said to me, I'm going to tell people don't go to that dealership or if you do, stay away from that salesperson. Why? They proved themselves lazy. Work hard, give your best, and followers of Jesus should model giving their best in all things. Lord Jesus, this is our prayer, that you will speak to our hearts, that wisdom will fill our minds, will shape our behaviors, and our lives will look more and more like Jesus with each and every passing day. Lead us in your wisdom, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, Sunday at church, remember, 9 o'clock and 11 o'clock, you have four options, online, outdoors, on the Jumbotron, streaming service, indoors in the family worship venue, families together in the Parkside Room, and in the worship center all together. In the different settings, we will have social distancing if requested. Masks are, are there if you want to use them, but no social distancing required and no masks required. God bless you, and let's gather and worship Jesus this Sunday together.